we're heading over to the Tesla South Loop Service Center to go see the Cybercab. Oh, there you can see it in the showroom already. There it is, the Cybercab. Okay, a quick correction. This is the Gold Coast Tesla Service Center, not the South Loop. All right, here we go. We're heading in. Let's see that, what this thing looks like. Now, I've seen this already at the Wii Robot event. This is the first time kind of getting up close and personal where there's not a ton of people around. Let's check it out. So this is a bit of a modified wheel design compared to what I saw on October 10th. On October 10th, the rubber on the tires was painted a gold color. But as you can see here, it's actually like a, a metallic material. If I had to guess, that's either plastic or aluminum that's been painted gold. And looking for the cameras here, let's see if we can locate it. Yes, there's the camera right there. A little bit tricky to see, but there's the camera right up in that area there. Let's see if we can get a close up. So one camera in the rear, and then what we have are cameras all around. So let's take a look at the location of all of these. We have a camera right there looking forward. And then the other camera gets exposed when the door closes. And you can see it right there. A little bit tough to see with the door open. Let's see if we can come around and see it underneath here. And you can see the camera right there. And it's got that red tint, which is the AI4, which we're told that CyberCab is going to have AI5 launched, same as what they're gonna be using in Optimus. So there we have our two cameras in the front, two cameras on the side. And then the one camera in the back. And then what we have up front here is the same as the Model Y and the Model 3, where we have two cameras in the very front. Now, one of them is a dummy camera still. In the very front on the bottom, we get this extra one right here. Pretty cool seeing the CyberCab up close once again. Now, I did ask one of the people that works here how they actually bring it into the studio, and he couldn't comment on that, but I'm willing to bet that these CyberCabs in today's world, in the current state, are driven manually through a teleoperator. So they, they must be able to control this through a remote control, whether it's a phone or a computer, some sort of device is able to manage these. And I imagine that is gonna be the first release of all of these robo-taxis, is you're gonna have a teleoperation fleet sitting behind the scenes, ready to take over at a moment's notice. That's the only way to pave the path forward for an autonomous driving future. So I'm really excited to be able to see this up close and personal. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below and have a great one.